On this 2012-2013 edition of the Vendée Globe, some have reached destination while others are still in action. Wind is weakening while scanting, slowing down. Those ahead are well off. Those behind me are stable and in about the same tide as I am. It's very shaky with less wind than waves at the moment. Look here inside, an attempt to dry clothes. Everything's in the back, on the right. The first have arrived, well, bravo François, bravo Armel. A wonderful race you've made. Your extraterrestrials, absolutely fabulous. Now it's our turn to make it back soon, especially Jean-Pierre. I hope he'll arrive quickly and safely. After that, the situation ahead of us is extremely complex. It's hard to imagine how it's all going to happen, other than it's going to take us a good 10 days to arrive. As Dominique Vavre is reminding us, Jean-Pierre Dick is still in the game with a keyless boat. Off the Iberic Peninsula, he keeps wondering about what's next and about the end of his Vendée Globe. It's true that with the slightest wind, I could lay in the water. I have to say, my sailing philosophy is different, that's for sure. But hey, I'll clench my teeth with the boat, that's life. My strongest wish now is to arrive. The equation isn't easy. In any case, I'll have to make a decision tomorrow on whether I leave the Spanish coastlines or not. I'll have to jump in the water, so to speak. If I move into the Gascogne Gulf or not, that's going to be the key factor. Tomorrow morning at Milkman's time, Alex Thompson shouldn't be far from crossing the arrival line. Right now, he's fighting strong winds and heavy sea. The British cautiously heading to Les Sables d'Olonne, where the third place of the podium is waiting for him.